Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play The Four Heroes of Light. Last time, well, we found the Kingdom of Guerra, so let's see if someone at the castle can help us out and lift the curse on horn there. Hey, okay, how's it going? Oh, yeah, well, when you've been sealed up in a desert for a while, you know, you're probably not going to run into a lot of tourists. But we found a way. Oh, okay. Yeah, just like the ones that we found earlier after defeating Greeps there. Yeah, this one just teleports us around. It's like the Zeal Kingdom or something? Well, everyone around here seems to be pretty friendly. Oh, yeah, sure. What, whatever works for you guys. Well, let's see if the king can grant our request. Oh, yeah. So even though we're Wayfarers with magic, we could use them, but it's not going to be too effective at this point, really. Because we just don't have the stats to make them work. Oh, what's going on? Oh, sure, a, a trade sounds like a good deal to me. Oh. Yeah, some people were talking about that, but I don't know what we could really do to help in that regard. I mean, you have an army, don't you? Well, let's take a look around, see if anyone has some useful information on how we might accomplish that. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I suppose that would be kind of difficult to take care of. But yeah, I've already got the rock shield because most of the enemies around here are going to be earth elemental. Oh, yeah, sure, I'll keep an eye out for that. But yeah, with the paralysis... Well, hold on a second. Let me talk to this guy first. Oh, okay. That's... If I recall correctly, the paralysis status... It doesn't, like, it's not a guaranteed stun like every other Final Fantasy game. I think it's something like a 50-50 chance of you losing your turn per round. But it eventually cures itself, too. Most Deus humans do that anyway. Oh, yeah, that's why I got Yanita with us. Not that I have a choice, but, yeah, spirit, intellect, strength... They're all essentially the same thing, just for different actions. Oh, if only there were an, a way that I could find to cast water magic. Well, we got that, an, there's that Antarctic, Antarctic wind item that they sell back at the shops there, but, well, that's pretty expensive at this point. So, I don't know how you're supposed to know, what to do here, but I'll just tell you. You gotta go outside, wait until nighttime, things change, and then we can advance the plot. So I'll just walk around outside for a little bit and be right back. Okay, we're back. Fought a few enemies outside, but nothing extraordinary. But anyway, let's see. If we talk to these two at nighttime... Oh, hmm. Shouldn't they have more guards at nighttime, though? I, I would think that, you know, being dark, that would, you know, be favorable to intruders or thieves or whatever, so they'd put more guards at night, but I guess not. I mean, it is pretty cold in the night at the desert, as many of you have told me, but okay. But anyway, yeah, I guess, my guess is that those two ladies are how you're supposed to know what to do next. Even though they don't say that during the daytime, so... Yeah, I don't... I don't get it. Yeah, that tricked me up the first time I played the game, but anyway, what we're supposed to do, make it nighttime, then the guard here goes away, and then we can go into the caverns under Guerra there. Well, let's see if we can find anything around here that might be useful. Now, we can see our way around here decently, but I'm still going to use the torch that we just picked up here just because I don't have anything better to do with it. 
and you know, it makes it easier for me to see things. And I like to be able to see what I'm doing as I'm doing it there. And what is this place anyway? It's like a underground tree or something? I mean, you got these branches and leaves and everything everywhere, but anyway. Here we get a wood axe. It's a lot more powerful than our weapons, but it doesn't exploit any elemental weakness. And, oh, one other thing about it is it, it is a missable weapon. So if you want to go for 100% item collection, do not sell that. You want to store it away. But because it's inaccurate also, I'm not going to put it to use over the weapons that I've got now that can exploit elemental weaknesses. And there we just got an ether that restores 3 AP to you. So if you want to use that, you can. I don't use it too often because it's usually easy enough to just boost to get your AP back. But there are some times when I like to use that. It's particularly useful later in the game when we get abilities that deal massive damage, but they cost like four or five AP. But anyway, haha! -ha, all right. So now we got the water magic that I guess the king confiscated, but I don't know why he would have done that, but okay, we got it now. And yeah, we'll want to give that to Yunita there. And here, yeah, we got a new enemy, blood bats. They will cause a blood bath. No, nah, no. Nah. But uh, we do want to take them out there since we got some long range weapons. They, we could have met up with them practically the, the beginning of the game, really. But they, they're just really weak. <laughs> they have like 5 HP. They're weaker than goblins. That is sad. But yeah, they don't do anything strange or interesting. So yeah, don't really worry about them too much. Now, anyway, even though we got what we came here for, we want to walk out of the dungeon, but we're actually going to take a different route because there's a treasure we can pick up along the way, um, well, on the way out here. I wonder how all this is underground anyway, but the whole overworld is like a desert around here or something. Maybe the ground just holds a lot more moisture, I don't know. But anyway, okay, we got all the treasures there, so yeah, we got this part where it's a one-way trip right back to the start where we got the torch in the first place. Hooray! But anyway, let's see. If I go to the right, or no, I can't do that from here. Get around. There you go. Yeah, you could have taken the left or right path to get down here, but it didn't particularly matter, so I didn't worry about that. But anyway, okay, so we got everything taken care of here. What I want to do is I want to deposit some of my excess items back at the, uh, the storage center there, rest up at the end, and then we'll head on over to the quicksand castle. Okay, we're back. Took care of all that stuff. So now, in order to get to the quicksand castle, yeah, it's just a little northeast from where we were before. So, let's take a look around here. See if we can't find that sun... Or, not sun devil. Sand devil. But anyway, here we got a new enemy. Kusith, I guess. That's how you pronounce it. But anyway, let's see. These guys... They are weak to wind, so... Well, wind elemental weapons will do well against them. I don't want to know what that was supposed to do. Nah, nah. But, uh, what what the marking ability does. If I recall correctly, that lowers your stats. Like, there's a spell later in the game called Suppress that reduces a target's stats or something like that. I think that's basically the same thing. I'm not sure exactly. Not that it really matters, but, well, it was there. But anyway, okay. Yeah, this first floor is a little bit of a maze, but nothing we can't handle. Okay, and here's the other one, the Kate Siths, or Ketchi, or whatever language you're using to pronounce their names. But anyway, let's see, these guys are also weak to win, so let's take advantage of that. And let's see, they could potentially put you to sleep, or poison you, that's why I've got the poison capes. 
let's see, a lot of the enemies around here, not only do they cast Earth Elemental spells like Quake, but their physical attack itself is also Earth Elemental for some of them. So yeah, definitely want to have Rock Shields around here. That's going to be a common theme throughout the game, where you go to an area and their physical attacks are elemental, and then they sell the shields that protect against it just before going to that dungeon. So that will help you your survivability a lot going through whatever dungeons you're going through. So yeah, never sell any of those elemental shields. They will always be useful. But anyway, okay, I think there's just one more treasure here. The path up there leads to the end, but I want to get one more thing right over here. Oh yeah, another nice thing about Eaters is that they sell for pretty good money. I'm not going to sell them right now because there's a place later on in the game where I can get more for them. But you do want to hold on to them for later if you don't use them. At this point in the game, our abilities are so cheap, we don't even need to think about Ethers at all. Now there's a the stairs that takes us to the end there, but I don't want to go there just yet. I want to go to the other side of the third floor of this place. Oh yeah, by the way, you see those whirlpools of sand there? Guess what happens when you jump down one of them? Well, you fall down to the next floor. But anyway, let's see, you got... Or the previous floor, I mean. But anyway, yeah, if you got the water book, you can clear the sand out of the way, and we can get a little treasure out of it, too. So anyway, we're done here on this half of the floor. So you just jump down one of these. Boom, you're back on the previous floor. And normally, there was a whirlpool there where I just walked over between the two of them there. But you hit the switch, it's out of the way, and then we get a new, better weapon. Now, I'm going to give that to Unita there, but I don't want to equip it yet, because none of the random enemies around here are weak to water at all. The Sand Devil is, and that's where we're going to want to put that to use. Now, let's see. There's a treasure to the right, in the middle of all those sand whirlpools there. But we can't get to it because it's completely surrounded by whirl whirlpools there. So what we need to do to get that, you jump down here. Ha-ha! And we get a pretty good weapon as well while we're at it. So I'm going to give that to Brant. Again, I'm not going to use that right away. We'll save that for the end. So anyway, let's just jump down here and then... Work our way back up and... Yeah, the, some of these paths go to strange places. It kind of reminds me of the Reptite Lair with those evil weevils or whatever they were called that would dig paths to go down and then you can climb back up and get to different places and stuff. But anyway, before going to the end, let's jump down here. And this will take us to another treasure that we can pick up. That staircase will take us out of here, so we're not stuck here forever. Oh, another more powerful axe that I'm not going to use because it's inaccurate. I don't even care if the average damage is better with its low accuracy. I just don't want to miss. I hate missing. But anyway, okay, now let's take this to get to the end, or at least close to the end there. Whoa! <laughs> no, no, I, I, I don't want to jump down there. Not yet, anyway. Okay, so we're pretty much at the end here. So what I like to do a lot of times is carry potions or high potions with me. So that way I can heal myself without using AP just for a boss fight or something. But anyway, okay, we got the blue shot there. And let's see, I want to equip Cringe with the Steel Sword there. Because his original sword, the, or well, just Cringe's sword there, is a one-of-a-kind item, at least to my knowledge, anyway. And after we're done with our business here, Cringe is going to be taken off. So I don't want him taking anything that's very important with him. You don't even have a chance to remove his equipment. So, give him what you need, but that's it. So, 
basically the rock shield I really want to have for him though even though yeah I hate to lose it but keep an eye drops on him just in case you'll need that for the sand devil so yeah let's just save up here and continue onward oh you know I forgot to equip the bang knife well I'll do that before we fight this guy anyway Ah, nuts. Can we defeat the sun, Sand Devil of Guerra Desert? Find out next time on Let's Play the Four Heroes of Light. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.